Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new Photoshop video. Alright, so today is going to be a little bit different. We're going to learn how to save an image for the web slash Instagram. Alright, so we're also going to create an action for that um, option. So you do not have to go over it each time. Alright, so quickly what we're going to do is to um, create the action. So we're going to go to Windows, click on Actions, and this is your action panel. Most time we don't use the default um, actions. I've never used any one of these actions before. So what we're going to do, we're going to delete them. All right, uh, clear actions, good. So we're going to create the actions that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, basically. All right, so we're going to go down to the option that says new set, or create a new set. We're going to call this save uh, for Instagram. I'm not sure why my caps lock is on, but let's say save for now you know what I'm gonna say web slash insta I could say Instagram and then we're gonna click OK so under this set we're gonna have save for web and save for Instagram alright so what we're gonna do now is to create the action itself so click on this option here and then we're gonna say save for Instagram we're gonna do the Instagram one first and then we're going to um, say mm, the color is going to be red. Then we're going to hit the record button. So everything that you do in Photoshop right now is going to be recorded. All right. So the first thing we're going to do right now is to go to file. Then we're going to go to export, save for web. All right. So it's optimizing the image right now. If you upload this image, this is a one meg image. If you upload this image to your website, it's going to take 49 minutes to load if you're using this internet speed. Um, nowadays, the internet speed is very fast, but you know it's best to optimize the image to a lower size so it can load very fast. So your images can load fast for your website. The um, Instagram will not decrease the quality of your photo when you upload your photo to Instagram. All right. So what we're going to do now is to change the width of the image. The width is going to be 1080. All right. We can just click in the middle of the screen. Good. And then we could just zoom out a little bit. Yeah. So that's your image. So right now it says eight seconds. Eight seconds is going to take to load. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to say save. And then, oh, I did create a folder here before. We could just delete this. And then we're going to say save. So what happened is that um, we just created an action telling Photoshop to, to say, hey, when I click on save for web, it's going to save to that folder on my desktop. All right. So we're going to click stop. And then I'm going to change this to, you know what? Let's create the other action. All right. So we have save for Instagram. We're going to do save for web now. All right. So we're going to say new uh, action. So we're going to say save for web. All right. And we could say you could have an orange color. All right. Record. So what happened is that I'm creating two actions under the one set. All right. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to file, export, save for web. And then we're going to change the width of the image to 1080. Good. And then we're going to say save. And then we're going to create, uh, let's say, we're going to say save for Instagram. It's basically the other way around because I had that folder that says save for web. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can't spell Instagram. Instagram. Good. It's basically the same thing. It's the same thing. So it doesn't matter if it's in that folder. You get the idea of what I'm trying to do. You, you know, you should get this. All right, so we're finished with that. So we're going to say stop. Then I'm going to turn these actions into a button. Good. So let me pull the folder over very quickly. Let me go to my desktop. Good. So I'm going to delete the images. But remember that this one is um, for the web and in, in here is for Instagram. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm going to get this smaller. I want you guys to see exactly what happens when you click on the, um, the action itself. All right. Get this a little bit smaller. 
pull this over here good all right so when i click on save for instagram look what happens the image comes right here because remember i named the file the wrong name for the file basically all right so it saves the image right here if i click on save for the web it's going to save in the instagram folder good so you get the idea all right so now when you upload this image to your website it loads really fast and it still has a good quality when you upload it to instagram it loads it, it doesn't well it loads fast but it doesn't decrease the quality of your image because if you upload a big file to instagram it's going to compress the file and the image may not look good at all so you get the idea i hope you guys learned something new um please remember to subscribe to my channel turn on a notification bell so you can get notifications once i upload a new video and i have a new video coming on um friday so you guys should stay tuned for that thanks for watching